got a couple things I've been thinking about through the week. Is uh, one is uh, you think it's possible that Neanderthals knew of a bunch of secret hideaway places that uh, would be considered like a Garden of Eden because it would be untouched by humans or anything like that. And uh, and then if you think about it, are they the or could Neanderthals have guided everybody that was uh, indigenous or is considered indigenous to the Americas? I'm wondering if you know Neanderthals knew about this. They had been here, and maybe just they you know they wandered hundreds of thousands of years. If they wandered here, found out about it, went back or whatever, and then guided, uh, you know, that they, they had a whole bunch of places like that where it was just pristine area that they never, they was like uh, sacred to them because it was so pristine. And uh, they knew that maybe, uh, Anyway, it was pristine area, and I was just wondering if uh, maybe Neanderthals guided uh, uh, some of the people here that are considered indigenous. I was just wondering that. Another thing, do you think that uh, Neanderthal or, you know, uh, well, I don't know if Neolithic. Neolithic is almost us. Basically, it is. It's just older us. But uh, like, say, uh, Neanderthal or the Denisovans, and uh, if they had drive, like, you know how we, uh, you know, say if you was in a, on a football team, the coach says, okay, you go out there, or, you know, you're, uh, you know, bust them and uh, don't give up, give 110%, you know, do you think Neanderthals, had a motivation like that where somebody else was telling or pushing them forward or do you think they just went until maybe they was just tired and they just stopped instead of pushing on they just went to uh, a place of certain uh, maybe not even exhaustion but they felt uh, you think they pushed on through stuff you think they just you know because they wouldn't have medical care, so they wouldn't think of all the things like nowadays you have things that will rescue you, you go to a hospital. They didn't have it. They didn't have the ability to say, okay, if this happens to us, we can always go to the hospital or somebody come in and buy an ambulance, pick us up. They had to deal with, you know, were they dealing with, uh, uh, you know, because avalanches, rock falls, you know, all the stuff that they'd have to learn from their, there wasn't books. And if they ventured into new areas, <clears throat> something new could happen to them. You know, like falling through, uh, uh, like quicksand, or you know, just all those natural things that can kill you. And I just wondered, you know, is, are, did they have a drive? I mean, you think, well, they're big and husky, you know, they're they're you know they're built like a brick wall, but you know, you think, well, it's like kind of like how everybody that you know this does 110 percent is, yeah, but. You don't see buffalo, you know, they're big and husky. You don't see any animal really busting through anything except maybe elephants. And that's only when they're maybe on a tantrum or they're just tired of whatever. And, uh, you know, you know, it's like somebody on a hike. Well, we're doing 100 miles today or 20 miles today. And didn't Neander you think Neanderthals were thinking, well, we got to march till the sundown maybe they got tired before the sundown they said heck with it i'm not gonna march till sundown or they even they never even had the motivational spirit or i don't know if that's a motivational it's that's a spirit spirit means something it seems like it'd be a natural uh motivation with inside you your spirit would be a natural motivation or would it just be nature in general that you are in tune with and the more the uh what is it uh more things we make the more technology we create the less of nature uh, the less close to nature 
we are. So the more we create, the less natural we are. Even though people are like, oh no, I'm really into na nature. Well, you know, they probably couldn't even, you know, I'm not even saying, some people think nature is going out killing an animal. But if you really think about it, you go back through nature, and if there, if if we evolve through thought, not the way scientists say it, but evolved by uh, everybody thinking, well, it would be better if uh, I don't. I don't think we came from. I I just think animals made us to a certain point, and then they we took off breeding on our own from there. That's what I'm thinking. We'd, we'd be spit out by animals, maybe to hominids, you know, to maybe uh, some sort of, uh, you know, something that animals, anyway. I'm just thinking, was there a, was there a drive or do you think that, uh, you know, being closer to nature, even though they were killing stuff, which would kind of take yeah, it would break you away from nature. If you're going to kill something, is you're going to be less natural. Even though hunters think they go out in the woods and just because they sleep in the winter or whatever, or sit in a blind, doesn't really put you close to nature. Neither does homeless people because they're they're most most homeless people are hanging around uh, technology and cities and stuff where they can live off. Uh, you know, others and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, I was just thinking of those, a couple of those things, and uh, what else was there? Yeah, that's about it right now.